What's up, Nug Choppa? Um, just wanted to make this video for you about your Ableton and Serato sample saving session issue. So what I found out is if you put a sample in here and you try to save it, it will not it will not save it <laughs> in the sense of um, saving the the sample as an imported file um, because I think it's only reading the MIDI information because what I ended up doing is putting Serato sample there as I'm sure you did then you would proceed to do your chops and then you would save your project and then you would go to collect all and save which you probably can't see <laughs> here right now you go to collect all and save you would have this and I told it to go into a folder on my desktop I called it test Ableton so it'll just have this but what I noticed is if I just put a sample into a sample deck so I'm, I'm gonna do get something from my external drive so I'm gonna get this here pick something here put this on a separate track so now we have an actual audio file the audio file there so now if I hit collect all and save, hit OK. Now, when I go to this, see how I now have a samples folder imported? There's a sample right there. So what you can do is whatever sample you have set up in here, just as a backup, is to just put this same sample as an audio track and then mute it just so you at least have it so if something goes wrong at least you didn't lose the sample um because then you can always import that back in here and it'll try to remember all your cues that you created because it's going to tell you that it's just missing the file as long as you have serato sample like installed internally onto your internal drive as opposed to your external um, cause if you have that, then you can't <laughs> obviously open up anything, but hopefully that puts some more insight on that. Hope that helps. Have a good one. Peace.